Hey guys, it is Shameless, and today I'm going to be doing a new series, and this series is called Is It Worth It, where I will review free play games um, off of Steam, and basically explain if it is worth it. And you guys may be thinking, if they're free, there's not much for them to be worth, but um, I'm going to go with hard drive space. So, um, yeah, today I am reviewing Ridge Racer Driftopia. This is currently an early access game, so um, hopefully it will be... It will stay free. Let's see. The initiation. Okay, so... I have no idea what controls. What cars have we got? What is this? Okay, let's see. Let's look at some of these cars. Oh, I'm not, I don't own any of those. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I don't know, this thing looks kind of cool. Alright, so... Basically, I'm going to give you, um... My opinion... On, uh, what I think about this game as I play it. So, um... I will cut through the video a little bit, and this is going to be... Basically, my first time playing the game and giving you my opinions on it. Alright, let's see. Downforce or tires? If you don't know what downforce does, it'll basically push the body down, giving it a little bit of rake in the front, which will give it better aerodynamics, and race tires will give me better grip. Well, I don't think I need grip since this is a drifting game, so I guess I'll go with um, the downforce. Um, let's see. Okay, sorry, it didn't work the first time, I don't know why. Alright, um, so, if I fail really hard at this, sorry, I don't know what the controls are. Okay, I guess we'll find out as we go. Oh, jeez, okay. Um... Oh no, I'm not getting a very good frame rate, am I? Oh shoot! Whoa! What's the drive key? Okay! Alright, I've got the, the controls down, I think. This is not the best frame rate ever, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty bad. Okay, um, this is a pretty easy race, but, um, this is the first race, okay, oh, jeez, I died, I killed myself, didn't I, car destroyed, let's, re let's repair it, I guess, yes, 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 just, okay, let's, let's, let's try this again. That was an epic fail, so... I'm sorry about the frame rate, it's not as good as I was thinking it would be. Okay, so... Let's do this. Alright, so my personal opinion is it seems like the graphics are very good. The controllability of the cars isn't super realistic, and I think that you probably have a little bit too much of a sense for speed than it really is realistic. So, that's definitely something that they could change, but, um, yeah, so, I just wanted to say that this is, um, it seems to be a fairly good game, um, you're probably gonna need a pretty good computer to handle this game, because I have a fairly good computer myself, but, because of the pretty good graphics, I would say, um, uh, I'd, I'd probably need a pretty decent con computer with a good graphics card. Um, Alright, so, I'd say that uh, the controllability of the car is kind of weird. It's definitely not- whoa. Oh, come- oh, wow. Wow. Honestly, uh... Um, 
I, I honestly think that it is a little bit too easy to destroy your car because, I mean, it's a racing game. When you first start it, you bump around on the walls a little bit. And also, um, the cars seem to be fairly realistic. This seems to be kind of a Chrysler Mini Cooper type car thing. It's very interesting, that's for sure. Oh, shoot. Oh, dude. Oh, okay, okay, so... Yeah, that makes sense. You could just blast through walls. Right, you could just blast through walls, but you can't even... You can't even, uh, like, hit, like, just sideswipe a wall, but you can drive through them. That, that makes sense. That really makes sense. This is, uh... It's a pretty, pretty good, uh, game. Oh my gosh. Alright, so, we are in another race. So... There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay, so... Here, this turn seems to be kind of weird. Oh, but then, you know, my opponents can just smash right through cars, but not me. Wow! The, um, controllability of the car, it, like, I don't know. It's... The, the cars are much too easy to damage. I, th I think that they could def they could definitely work on that because this is very ridiculous. And I'm not sure, I think we we're actually online. I'm pretty sure this is other people we're racing. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. But, um, anyway. Okay, so here we go. Play this right. Let's go around the other side like we did before. Okay, so... I do think that this is a fairly good game. That's what keeps messing me up. I keep seeing that, and I think that it's something really bad. All right, I just I am now in second place. Um. Oh gosh, no, 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 no! Oh jeez. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm pretty sure a real car is not even that fragile. Honestly, come on, come on, explode, gas truck! No! What? That's what keeps happening! Wow. Wow. I'm- I'm- I'm DONE! I'm DONE! Okay, so all in all, this is a fairly good game, and keep it- keep, um, an open mind, cause this- okay, I can't tell you to keep an open mind, cause I definitely didn't. But this is a early access game, so that might be why everything is working like a piece of- Uh, the car is- are probably a little too fast, um, for like, I don't know. I think you have too much of a sense of speed for the actual speed that you're going. And honestly, I think that the cars get damaged way too fast, but, um, I don't know, that's just my opinion, because I'm a dirty racer when it comes to racing games. Racing games are probably my favorite kinds, but you know, you know what I do. So all in all, it's a pretty good game, but it could definitely use some work. Alright, so definitely go check out this game. It is, um... Ridge Racer, I, I, I think Driftotopia, yeah, Ridge Racing Driftopia, and um, I'm just going to uh, also go ahead and check out this other car in case you wanted to see it, because I could care less, but I'm sure, I mean, I couldn't care less, but uh, I thought maybe, whoa, <whistles> oh, right, that, oh, that's right, oh, that's right, oh, I forgot I destroyed my other car, this thing's cool, Kind of. I mean, it's not very good, but, um... Yeah, so, I'll just quickly show you guys the other cars. Um... As you can tell, it's, it tells you the stats down there, but there's no mouse. So I can't actually show you. And I'm also going to show you the other track. And, um, yes. So, race tires. I guess I'll do these, because I used the other thing. So, here we go! Alright, so here we are, about to start the race. And I honestly really like this. It looks a lot like a Nissan GTR. I am a huge fan of this car. It looks pretty sweet on the back. I honestly don't think it looks as cool in the front, but, um, you know, whatever. I'm not sure if you can actually customize your cars. If you could, you know, that'd be really actually pretty, pretty amazing. I'd definitely be doing that all day long if you could. Oh, jeez. Oh, you gotta go up here. Okay. And you guys don't realize how much harder it is to control this when you have a little bit of lag. But anyway, as you can see, this game is a very good game, has very good graphics, uh, car control is decent, oh sheesh, I'm gonna have to repair this thing, because I actually like it, so, yeah. 
<laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm going to show you the one other car, and um, yeah, then we'll end off this video. Alright, so now we're going to the car. I believe you can actually... Oh no, you can't. I was going to say, um, I was wondering what change car did. Um, yeah, so I guess we've got our Grover, which is all-wheel drive. Maybe that'll help us with the drifting a little bit. You know, you'd think that'd give you grip, but a lot of drift cars are actually all-wheel drive. I mean, quite a few anyway. Some of them are not. A lot of them are not. Control freak increases drifting score. Oh, sweet, dude. I will definitely do that. So, okay, so we were on the uh, last track we were on. And uh, if you want to know what the controls are, to me, the most important ones seem to be the arrow keys. Forward is to drive forward. Um, uh, back, like, or down on the arrow keys is um, stopping and most likely reverse as well. Oh, dude, this is like the same thing that I was in before, but a different color. That's pretty sweet, actually. But, um, okay, so basically, um, yeah, um, the down arrow key is probably, um, reverse as well. I'm not particularly sure, because I haven't had to go in reverse yet, because you can't, like, hit a wall w in which you need to go into reverse, because, uh, your car's damaged so quickly. Oh gosh, did I break my car? Oh. Well, I just did there. Man! I've never seen a car catch on fire so easily. But anyway, so this is my, um, review of Ridge Racer Driftopia. It's a pretty long one, but, uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Do not forget to rate, comment, share, and subscribe if you would like more of these reviews, and, uh, yeah, I will see you guys later.